Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about some of the important disadvantages of the Five Kingdom classification system. So far, we have talked about the advantages of the Five Kingdom classification. Now, there were some limitations of this Five Kingdom classification. Let us see what are those limitations or the disadvantages of the Five Kingdom system of classification. The first disadvantage was that the distinction between unicellular and multicellular organisms is not possible in case of algae. So we have separated unicellular eukaryotes and multicellular eukaryotes in that of protista and other organisms as well as the prokaryotes. But in case of algae, this unicellular and multicellular algae has not been considered into separate groups. So this is a disadvantage. A diverse group of organisms is very difficult to be kept together. So we have learned that in various groups there are a diverse group of organisms that are included into a particular group of organisms or particular kingdom. Now all these diverse groups is very difficult to be studied on and kept under a similar conditions or similar group. So this is a big disadvantage of the five kingdom classification system. Viruses we know they cannot be considered as living or non-living, they are mostly particulate in nature. Now viruses have not been included anywhere in the five kingdom classification. So viruses have been excluded out from the five kingdom system of classification. So this is a disadvantage of this or limitation of this five kingdom classification system. Archibacteria, we know they differ from the normal bacteria in many of its cases like they are physiologically also different. Now these archibacteria, they are included together with the bacteria or the prokaryotes. Mycoplasma is a certain group of organisms which are similar to that of bacteria we have discussed and but they do not have the cell wall. Now these group of mycoplasma, they are also to put together into the group of prokaryotes which is actually not, uh, should not be done because there are quite num a large number of differences than that of normal bacteria. So this is a limitation of the five kingdom system of classification and the another important uh, disadvantage of this five kingdom classification is that five kingdom classification did not uh, consider the symbiotic relationships or organisms which live in symbiotic association. A very important example is the association of lichens. Lichens are organism or the mutual association between fungi and algae. So these type of mutual or symbiotic relationships was not considered in this case of five kingdom classification system. So in this video, we have talked about some of the important disadvantages or the limitations of the five kingdom classification system. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.